Welcome to this video where I will be describing how to change the different text properties of a dropdown and all of its options. To begin, I've already created a canvas. If you don't know how to do that, you can right click, UI, select canvas. When you create a canvas, make sure to change the scale so that scale with screen size. When you first create it, it's constant pixel size. So make sure to scale it. Now, if we right click on our canvas, go to UI, we can select that drop down. Now in the drop down, you can easily change the text of the options. So let's say I want to say hi, bye, and hello. So that if we were to play it, our text is easily changed. Now also, if you want to add more than if there are two other options besides hi, you can click this plus sign, which will add, and you can say goodbye, for example. And then that way, you can add another element. If you want to change either the color, the font, or the size, click this arrow to extend the rest and go all the way to item. Okay. So there are gonna be multiple things you have to change. First, you're gonna click label. And as you can see, highs, so that's really gonna be the first option that we see here. And so the font is currently Arial and you can change that. I've created a folder with a bunch of fonts that I like and I can drag. And so at first you see that the font disappears and that's because the font is too large and it's currently wrapped. So if we overflow for both of these, hi is there again. And now we can also change the size. We can make it smaller, we can make it larger. Then we can also change the color down here. So if I want to make it red, I can do that as well. And then font style, you can also bold, italicize both. So that you can do over here. Now we have 18, we have red. However, if we were to play right now, as you can see, it's only that first one before you click the drop down that's changed, we have to separately change these. So make sure to complete both steps. Hypothetically, if you wanted to, you could use one font and uh, a color and a size for this first one, and then the rest of the options can be different ones. However, you can't change the color, the size, or the font from option to option because they're all controlled by this item label. So if we can change that to 18 as before. Um, we can use a different font if we wanted to, let's say. Uh, color, we could also use a different color. We can use a green. And then make sure, again, overflow, overflow. So that now when we play, we've again changed the font, the size, and the color. And these can be different. So this high and the rest of these options can be different. However, these options themselves cannot be different from one another. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very helpful and that you can implement it into your own project.